Hello everybody, it's your friend Sky Nova, and I'm here to let you know there's a brand new channel in the YouTube community. Now I know, this is just straight insane. It's absurd. It's out of this world. It's just, you know, it's just straight. Uh... Alright guys, now that we've got that out of our systems, thank goodness. Let's go ahead and roll some gameplay because I know that's why you really came here. Okay guys, what we've got rolling here for you is some hardcore kill confirmed on slums. Now to me, I really prefer playing hardcore over the core games any day of the week. Um, it just it just seems a little bit more realistic. I mean, you take one in the head, two in the chest, something like that, you should be dead. I don't I don't like having to take half a clip. Plus, you know, honestly, my my uh, my accuracy is probably not all that great. So I need to, sometimes I need just to spray a little bit to get those kills. Um, but we are playing on slums here, which is probably one of my top favorite games, or I'm sorry, top favorite maps on this game. Uh, Raid probably being my most favorite. We're losing I really enjoy playing the the smaller type maps. Um, watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Blop! <laughs> he just kind of flops forward like a freaking fish out of water. Cracks me up every time. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I enjoy the smaller map because it keeps the momentum for me going. You don't have to play something like Turbine where if you get killed you have to run halfway across the map and uh, just to get back in the fight of things. I know they have tag inserts, but I don't always enjoy using those. I do use them sometimes on like Capture the Flag or other objective game types to keep me in the middle of everything. Um, but what this uh, challenge will be primarily committed to is showing tips and tricks of... Uh, some popular games, you know, such as Halos or Assassin's Creed, whatever is popular at the time. We will probably be, uh, well, not probably, we will be concentrating more on the Call of Duty series because I just lo absolutely love this series. I used to be a big Halo fan back in the day. Uh, back, like, Halo 1 when you had to download some weird program to even play any kind of on online multiplayer. Yeah, that, that's how ghetto we were back in the day. Um, then some few years back, I was introduced to uh, Call of Duty Mo Modern Warfare, so Call of Duty 4. And the first time I played that game, I was seriously just, I was just hooked. That was it. No more. No more Halo. I was done. No more Halo jumping. It was all about the Call of Duty. Um, I just love the, the, no, of course it's not perfectly real, but the realism of the game. Um, as close as it can get, and that's why I say I, I like the hardcore better. Um... My first online game was actually against one of my, uh, actually the friend that introduced me to Call of Duty, and he was like, okay, I'll, I'll play some online with you. We'll do a, a 1v1, just to kind of show you the ropes, and I don't know if he was just, he started out going easy on me, and then he just lost it from there, but I just straight annihilated him. Uh, he, he didn't stand a chance. Look like like that guy, right there. Didn't stand a chance. Blowing up, self, spontaneous combustion, just out of nowhere, boom! <laughs> but, uh, ever since I played that first game online with him, it was nothing but Halo. I've had a great feel for this game the whole time. I've always been fairly decent with the game. Um, you know, I've always had my KDR being at least over 2.0. Which I know is not like, ooh man, you're so good, Sky Nova, why can't I be like you kind of thing. But for hardcore, that that's fairly decent. So I take a little bit of pride in my KDR. Um, actually, this this Black Ops, Black Ops 2, has been my worst KDR so far. My KDR on this game, Black Ops 2, is probably, I think it's right now, um, 1.86 or 1.85, something like that. And... It was actually worse. When I first got the game, I think it was a 1.5, which I was furious with myself. I have never, never had a KDR that low. And ever since then, I've been playing catch up and slowly creeping up, which is really hard because, you know, once you have like 15,000 kills, it takes it takes a lot to get your KDR back up to a 2 range. So I've been working at, working at that for a while. Um, but since I do usually have a fairly high KDR. I have a lot of friends that uh, they would ask me for help, you know, nothing major really. They, they just ask for little tips of what I do or maybe what my classes are, um, my techniques and everything. Um, and so that's why I decided to go ahead and make this YouTube channel, really. 
uh, so not to only help them out, but maybe help somebody else out that doesn't necessarily know something. Uh, you know, like we got the Christmas news that just came on, although it's probably it, it's it's obviously been a couple weeks, so they they know more. Watch this right here, doing the dosy -si do, going back and forth. Throw that bouncing Betty, get the other guy, turn around, pull out the pistol, take him out! I took them both out, they didn't stand a chance! <laughs> oh, I love doing things like that. Oh, it's just so much fun. Uh, anyways, we are nearing the end of our gameplay here. So, uh, I got a little deal for you guys. If we can hit 100 subscribers, um, I will go ahead, I have a PSN code and a Xbox code. Uh, the only requirements is first we have to get a hundred subscribers. Mm -hmm. You must one be a subscriber yourself and go ahead and leave a comment below whether you want an Xbox code or PSN code. That'll be the end of this video here, guys. Uh, hit me up on Twitter; it'll keep you up to date. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And you know what? Toss me a like because it helps me give back. Do these PSN codes, do these Xbox codes, things like that, and I enjoy doing that for my fans. So until next time, later.